Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to see how we can perform cross-browser testing. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So, guys, let me add a Java file. Right-click, new class. This class I'll name cross-browser. Test. So this is also one of the most important ask into a questions. Before that, let me add in the pom.xml test ng. Test ng is already here. So first we'll need a web driver manager. Let us go to the pom.xml. So web driver manager dependency is here. So let us see the program. So what I'll do, I'll explain you the scenario. Let me just open. Let me just open google.com. I'll see the title in Edge, Chrome, and Firefox. What is the purpose of cross browser testing? I'll just write here purpose. Let me tell you the layman terms. Let's say one button is there. So if you want to test that button, it might work on Edge browser. Maybe it can work on Chrome browser. But if it doesn't work in Firefox, then the functionality is not proper. So whatever the developer develops, he has to make sure that it is working in different browsers also. So I'll just write to expose the errors in the front-end functionality. Expose errors in the front-end functionality. That's it. Let us take few drivers we'll take. First of all, we'll take a Chrome driver, a Firefox driver, and Edge driver. Few options we can take. First, we'll take Firefox options i'll write here firefox options equal to new firefox options so i want to import this firefox options so similarly i want to import chrome options i want to import edge options so let me copy this so here i'll write chrome options let me hover it chrome options now we have Edge options. Let me hover here. Edge options we'll get. Now we'll run this as a test test ng test. Then here I'll write my first thing annotation of before test. So I'll write one method. So we need to know which browser we are launching. So initialize browser. Here we'll take browser as input string browser so it should not write inside main this entire thing so we'll write it here and let's take the driver so let us initialize our browser now okay so what if i write here if condition browser dot equals or ignore case also we can write so if it equals to firefox so driver equal to new Firefox driver. So let us add this also. Firefox driver options Firefox driver. I'll write it here. This out. Firefox is launched. And also I'll write since we are giving browser as a parameter. So I'll write parameters. I'll write browser is my parameter. Here we'll get the actual value. We'll get the actual value in the XML file that we'll see in a moment. So since we are using uh, test ng, so main method is not required. Here we'll write our test. We'll just validate. It has to launch google.com and it has to validate the title. Here I'll write driver.get. Uh, as I've explained, driver.get and driver.navigate.2 are basically same method calling driver.get calls the get method directly driver.navigate.2 calls the get method indirectly i'll add that video on the right top corner of this video i'm launching here google.com https colon double slash www.google.com and we are, we are seeing the assertion also here we want the title so i'll say string get google title ti get google title equal to driver dot get title so i'll write string expected title 
So what we are expecting here? Let's say I'm expecting Google. That's it. So here I have to do some validation. What I'll do? Assert dot assert equals. So I'll write get Google title dot contains. What it should contain? It should contain Google. Else my test will fail. So this is the expected title. I'll paste it here. Dot contains. What it should contain? Google. So here, let me write test. So what is the name of our test? Let me write Chrome test. This is my test now. Okay. So inside the test, we'll write name as test. Maybe thread count also we can give here. Name I can write as Chrome test. So one more thing we have to write. We in the, in the browser, you have given parameters, right? So we have to pass parameter from our testing all dot xml okay so now what i'll do i'll write a parameter tag so parameter tag what is the name name is browser so value is chrome so here i have to launch my chrome browser or here what we have given we have added firefox okay fine so we'll take firefox or not an issue so here I'll write Firefox, let it be Firefox test. Okay, so now the most important is classes. So where do we get this class? Where the class is? So to run this, there should be a class, right? So let me copy this, copy qualified name. So I'll paste it here, dot the cross browser com dot general dot interview questions dot cross browser test so now we are good to test this okay so let me right click uh, run as test ng suite now we will see it should be able to launch firefox so now as you can see firefox is launched google.com will be our website so now it should end the test see firefox is launched test is now Past okay, so let us add few more changes here. This is basically the cross browser test we have just seen for Firefox. Okay, so what if I write else if and the same code I can copy, but it should be for Chrome browser. Let us add Chrome. I'll write I'll write here Chrome is launched, and this should be Chrome driver. Here I have to see. Yeah, I'll take this suggestion and I'll copy the same. And this time I'll take H browser. So this must be H driver and H driver must be there. You can give here a web driver setup also with and the testing.xml. I can copy this test, I can paste it twice. So this might be the Chrome test, Chrome test. Here I'll give value CHROME. So this will be the edge test. So I'm giving here edge. So here I have to write web driver, web driver manager dot. Since it's a Firefox driver, I'll write Firefox driver dot setup. Let's say for Chrome, we have to set up here. So it should be Chrome driver. So similar thing I have to write here. This will be Edge driver. So we have wrote before test, after test. So let us write one more annotation. I'll write after test. So as soon as the test completes, so we have to quit the driver. So public void end test. So this is one more method I'm writing here. So driver dot quit, not close, but quit. I'll write validation is successful. That's it. So now let me go to testing all.xml. So edge driver, edge I've given Chrome test, password test. Okay. So now let me run as test ng suite. So see one by one, it will launch the Firefox driver, Chrome driver and edge driver. 
the first browser it launch is Firefox it will launch www.google.com it will see the title is Google it will close its browser now it will launch the Chrome driver so you can see Firefox launch validation is successful so it now launched the Chrome driver google.com it will see the title it will close it Chrome is launched validation is successful now the next one will be Microsoft Edge it will launch the Edge browser google.com it will close the Edge browser so validation is successful you can see we have run T3 test and 3 are now passed hope you have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are new here please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye